so I've had the stall in this truck for about six months now so I figured now that I've driven it a while um, I haven't exactly daily driven it but I've put quite a few miles on it um, I'm gonna show you guys how it acts is a 3000 3200 stall from circle d specialties um, if you're new to the channel or you're stopping in for the first time this is a six liter swapped into my 1500 i have a 223 226 um, texas speed cam um, i think i think the match everything matches up pretty well so i'm gonna drive around show you guys how it acts um, a couple different throttle um, scenarios i guess and uh, show you guys how it drives now, like I was saying, I do not daily drive this, but I would have no problem daily driving it. A lot of people say that when you stall or put a higher stall converter in, that it completely gets rid of the dependability or the drivability of it. I would say I have to disagree. Um, it does take some getting used to, but it is definitely not hard to drive by any means. So if you don't understand what a higher stall converter is, basically, when you say a 3,000 stall, it means it allows the engine to have a 3,000 RPM split between the transmission. So essentially the engine can rev up to 3,000 from a dead stop and it'll start moving. Not that you have to hit 3,000 RPMs to start moving, which is something that I was told when I first was looking at stalls that you don't want one because your truck won't even move until you hit 3,000 RPMs and that's not the case. Um, that's just when it actually, not, not locks up, but that's when it's hit its maximum, you know, range. I actually like the saw. I think it's fun. Um, I, for me, it's actually better than a factory stall because I, when I had my 5.3, I had the smaller 212, 218 Texas Speed Cam, and I had the factory torque converter, which was fine. But I think with the lift and you know the big tires, it is regeared, but. You know, all the weight, I think a little bit higher stall would have done it justice. Um, drive around, let this warm up a little bit, and I'll show you. and I'll show you how the RPMs jump up. Vroom, vroom. See why? I, th I think it's fun. <laughs> it, uh, I don't think it really decreases the, the drivability of it. Um, so far, I haven't noticed that my transmission warms up any more than it normally does. A lot of people say that when you have a stall, it gets hot. Um, I have not noticed that yet, but I do not daily drive this. Not that I don't want to, it's just it doesn't get as good a mileage as my Honda does. Um, so that's, that's why. But I would have no uh, qualms about driving it every day. Here's a good example of 
how the stall works. If you notice, the RPMs will jump to about 3,000 and they'll stay there. You'll keep accelerating because that, that is the truck, the you know, drivetrain catching up to the engine. And once it catches up, then it starts pulling. The idea is that you get to the power band where the cam, whatever cam you select, with, with the engine starts making power. And with the big cam, you lose a lot of low end power. A lot of people think you just get a cam and it increases everywhere. A big cam actually decreases your low end. So that's the reason why you get a stall is that you can jump up to the 3000 RPMs where it starts making a lot of power and you don't really lose any low end because you're never in the low RPM range. So driving around normally, I think 2,000 is about as low as this engine will run. You can kind of baby it, like through a parking lot or something, and get below that. But um, I can't really attest to the mileage because this doesn't get good mileage anyway because it has a big cam. But I didn't build this engine for mileage, so. transmission is completely stock internally I have a Corvette servo which is kind of just a bolt-on thing um, and a deep pan from a Hughes Hughes transmission or whatever um, a deep aluminum pan so it adds about two or three quarts I believe something like that um, but it's the factory cooler I do plan on upgrading it so that's kind of a good um, baseline to see how warm this thing gets it's about 95 out here um, it's not super hot and it's not humid out here it's pretty dry so once I get the cooler on, we'll do another video and see how much it brings the temperature down. Um, I know for transmissions it's not good to get it warm because after a certain temperature it starts breaking down the transmission fluid, which is not good. But Circle D claims that their stalls have a, a, a higher flow pump or something. I, I'm, I'm not going to claim to be an expert about stall converters. This is my first one, um, but I believe I read that it increases the volume of flow, which would make sense because when the truck was stock, it would get above 200. And now that it's lifted, I mean, I have the gears, but a bigger engine, so I'm working the transmission harder and the stall, it slips more, it runs cooler. So that would make sense. A lot of questions I get asked is what stall I recommend. Um, I recommend Circle D first and foremost. Um, they did not give me this stall. I paid full price for it. They didn't even give me a discount. Um, just because I heard a lot of good things about them. I bought this one and I've been very happy with it. This one is rated at like, I think 600 wheel horsepower, which I'm not even close to. I think after the heads and intake, I'll probably be close to like 400 wheel horsepower, which is, I think it'll be just fine for this truck. Um, but they do have smaller stalls, but I mean smaller, I mean the range is smaller or lower in the RPMs. It's about, I think 26 to 2800. Um, I think that one would be kind of nice because it would maybe, if you're concerned about the 3000 stall being too hard to daily drive, it might be a little bit easier. But for me, if you're going to end up taking the engine out or the transmission out anyway, might as well put one in that's going to really, you know, put you back in the seat. I really like the 3000 stall. Uh, and I don't think I would be tempted to get the smaller one. I've been very happy with this one and it works great with the cam. 
All right, before I sweat to death out here, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks for stopping into my channel. Um, I hope you stay, I hope you subscribe. We just hit a thousand subs a couple weeks ago. I'm really excited about that. I'm a lot more cool stuff coming. Like I said, I have ported heads I'm gonna be putting on. I'm um, doing the TBSS intake swap, which goes from a 78 millimeter factory throttle body to a 90 millimeter. So that will be really cool. A lot more fuel, a lot more air, a lot more power. Thanks for stopping in. See you guys next time.